Welcome to my guitar tutorial for Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. Let me give you a brief demo of what we're going for. Would you know my name If I saw you in heaven be strong and carry on cause I know I don't belong here in heaven Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. We have a lot of quite complex chords in this song, but no bar chords at all, uh, as mainly as we're only ever playing three strings. Generally, uh, we begin this song on an A chord, and generally with the picking hand, we're only ever playing the root note of the chord, so for example, the fifth string, the A note, on an A chord, and then strings two and three with the first two fingers, plucking them together in this fashion, into the hand. That's the general pattern throughout the song. It's a little different for the, the exact intro. We have this little hammer on. Open to second fret. And um, then the A major chord in the first fret is an arpeggio. But from there, it is Very similar pattern, first finger and second finger together, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb. So the chords first of all for the intro, we have the A chord, then we slide fingers two and three up to the fourth fret and fifth fret respectively with the first finger at the sixth fret. So fifth fret, fourth fret, fourth fret at the sixth string to play an E slash G sharp. This is an E major chord with an G sharp in the bass when we just play these strings. And then we're at an F sharp minor, which we normally have to do as a bar chord, but we're only playing strings two, three, and six, all at the second fret. We lift off that first finger so that the bass note is open. It's the open E. And then we next have a D slash F sharp. Again, played with just the middle two fingers with the first finger on the bass. And then open again, open E. And this is an E7 sus4 to an E7 chord when we go to the first finger at the first fret here. And then back to the A chord to finish up. We'll have a recap over those again as we go through the picking pattern this time. But that is the intro, which is very similar to the verse. So if you can get through the intro, everything else is born out of exactly what I've just covered there. In fact, most of this song can be learned from one page of tab and that tab that I'm working from is available on the website if you click just here it's on andyguitar.co.uk it's available in a compilation book and that tab is 100% accurate to the record and uh, there's a simplified basic tab and chord sheet um, available to view online for those of you that want it for free. So the song begins with an open to second fret hammer on 
thumb, hammer that first finger on, and then we have an arpeggio of the A chord. Thumb, first finger, middle finger, on string five, three, two, three. But then when we move to the next chord, the pattern changes to everything together, thumb, fingers together, together, thumb, fingers together, and then at the second fret, everything at the second fret, together, thumb, fingers, thumb. And then together with the first finger open, to go for the F sharp minor slash E, and that's our first two bars. Third bar we have the D slash F sharp. And now, as I say, from here the general pattern is together, thumb, fingers, thumb. That is through the E7 to E7 chord to take us through the first line of the song. And then we're back to the A chord where again we can practice this pattern. If, and, and if you're really struggling with the finger picking so far, this A chord at the fourth fret is a great one just to play in a loop. So together, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers. Just to get that right hand working. At the end of that bar again we have the hammer on at second fret, so and then the verse repeats what we've done in that intro. So that intro one last time before we move on to the verse is two, three, four. There are two parts to this intro which I haven't covered so far that are very audible in the original and uh, these aren't included on the tab that's linked to on the website but we can look at them now. Um, we've got a little hammer on section, a little hammer on flick off, and then this little uh, overdubbed part which is a slide. And I'll just cover those briefly now. So these are more at a real intermediate level. But, rather than just playing the arpeggio like this, and rather than going for the A like this, we can play the A as a bar, like this, okay? And then we hammer on the middle finger after we've plucked that second string. Flick it off as well, and then pick as normal. So without the hammer on flick off, and with. Everything else is as normal. The really important thing is we need to play the, the A as a bar. And then for the overdub, um, just after that, it's a flat first finger, again barring the thinnest two strings at fifth fret, Sliding straight away to 7th fret, and then back to 5th, and then pluck strings 2 and 3 with the first two fingers, and we're at middle finger 5th fret, first finger to 4th fret, and then slide them 2 frets, and then come back to where you were. And then a flat first finger at the second fret for strings two and three. And in total, and then we're on to a verse which begins the same. Would you know my name? Up 
to there, up to the F sharp minor 7 slash E. Uh, it's exactly the same as the intro, but then it changes and we're on D slash F sharp. If I saw you in heaven. That's slightly different. Uh, the D slash F sharp with the standard pattern. Do an A with an E in the bass, so the thumb on string six. And then E major is just the first finger at the first fret of the third string because we're only playing strings two, three, and six. And here we would play those two together fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb. A, so second fret for both fingers, and then slide into first finger at third fret of the second string, and middle finger at the fourth fret. That move again. And then exactly the same again for the second half of the verse. Would it be the same if I saw you in heaven? If you're struggling with any of that, persevere through the verse because it's got all the moves in there that you'll need to work on to get the picking and chords together. We're going to move on now to the bridge where we start with an F sharp minor, which is just all our fingers, first three fingers, at the second fret on string two, three, and six. We begin by playing them all together, and we're going for this. I must be strong And carry on That's what we're going for. Chords, F sharp minor. Then the first and second finger move down by a fret, but the third finger stays where it is. Then they come off all together, and the third finger just stays where it is, which is an E minor six. So we had one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then I'm choosing to play this with the thumb after trying it a few ways. I think it's easier to have the thumb at second fret, first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, middle finger, third string, third fret. Third finger goes down at the fourth fret of that same third string, and we go here. So the fingers, two, three, four. And with the thumb. Very fiddly move for the first time you do it. But that is that passage. A recap. Three, four. I must be strong. Then we have a B minor 7, played in this fashion. Then the root note changes to the thickest E string. That one more time, 3, 4, B minor 7. E7 sus 4. Letting it ring out, and then we're back to the intro again. As we did before, okay? So moving into that chorus one final time, we have the F-sharp minor chord. Moving down a fret. Down again. Thumb comes into play.
B minor 7. Thickest D string. Let ring. And then we're back to... The intro riff. Exactly the same. So let me do a slow playthrough now so that we can get all those sections really, really nailed and you've got a full demo of how this song would go and then we will also cover the bridge section where we, we do change chords um, quite a bit from what we've done at the moment. So a slow playthrough now for you to get all the information that you need to be able to work through the tab. That's going to be the way that you're going to master this song. From the top, in two. Three, four. And the verse. I saw you in heaven Would it be the same If I saw you in heaven F sharp minor chord for the chorus Back to the intro for the interlude. That would all repeat again from the verse, and now we're on to the bridge section, which goes like this. That's the section we're going for, we're going on a C chord, G slash B, which is a G chord without the thumb, without the middle finger in the bass, so just from string 5, A minor 7, which is an A minor 7 without the third finger, D slash F sharp, let's keep it the same as all the other ones that we've played, then a G chord, standard G, no third finger down, really just the middle finger is all we need down. D slash F sharp again, and then E minor, we won't need any fingers down. So on the C, thumb, first finger, second and third together. And together on the G slash B. That first bar. A minor 7, change of pattern, D slash F sharp, together, first, third. together, first finger, middle finger, those all together. To the G, we only need the middle finger down really, the rest are just open, it's just thumb first, middle first, D slash F sharp, together, 
first middle thumb. It's really because of that change of pattern you're really going to have to be following the tab for this, it changes too often. E minor, thumb, thumb, first fingers together, first two fingers together, thumb, two chords plucked, D slash F sharp to the G. That happens again, yes, exactly the same. So C, G, and then we change to the E major. And we have the change of key back to exactly what we were doing before. So that one more time from the second time we go to the C. Time. G. D slash F sharp. And then E. Lovely example of how to change key, essentially. The key of this song is in A. The bridge is in C, but then it uses the E major to get back to the key of A. I know I don't belong here in heaven. And that's the outro. Finishing on the A chord, and that is how to play Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't already to my Andy Guitar YouTube channel.